All right, you remember this frame. We found that the decagon was equivalent to one of these rectangles. I really wanna pay attention to what we're seeing in the relationship with that. So let's take a more careful look. When I put the base of this rectangle in to the decagon, what is it making up of the decagon? That base of our rectangle makes up the perimeter of the decagon. Hmm. Now take a look here. We've got the height of the rectangle right here. This is the height. What does that equal in terms of the decagon? Well, it's actually, let's check it for sure. All right, there's the entire apothem. So that height of the rectangle equals half the apothem. So a decagon and a rectangle are equivalent when the base of the rectangle equals the perimeter of the decagon and the height of the rectangle is half the height of the apothem. Maybe you'd like to explore this some more.